Hi, this will be a quick presentation on using Git and some other tools to deploy to Drupal, leveraging a popular or a subset of a popular work, Git workflow. So this is a slide from one of my previous presentations that we looked at. Uh, it's commonly accepted as a good workflow to follow. Of course, this graph by itself doesn't mean much. Um, here's another view of it. So essentially, we have various branches that have various purposes in the workflow. Um, so how can we apply this to deploying to our servers? So our setup is that we're going to have a development, a staging, and a production server, three Drupal servers. And what we're going to do is have three branches to track essentially deployments to those servers or enable deployments to those servers. And these will be hosted in a central repository, in our case Bitbucket, it could be other places. And let's make a little bit of room there. So this is the first workflow that I was thinking of. Essentially you'd have a developer, Jane, and another one named Mike. And to clone, or to get their own copies, they would do a git clone of the repository, which will bring down their own perfect copies. Uh, from there, we would also have a second repository. And these two repositories would have different purposes. One, the central repository would be for code sharing and just to make sure that all the branches are tracked. And the other one would be for deployment. And we'd also have bamboo running. So how would this work? Jane would create a commit and she would push it up to the central repository. Once it's there, Mike can pull it down, so he has his own copy. And once Mike decides that it's time to deploy that commit to the development server, he would post a commit to the development branch, which Bamboo was tracking. And Bamboo would then know to push that commit up to the Drupal server. So this is all fine and good, but it seems a bit complicated. It would, it's a workflow that would work, but I was trying to think of a simpler way. So let's simplify it a little bit. Uh, in this case, we just have a single central repository and we're gonna use a different way to accomplish the same ends. So Jane creates a commit and again, pushes it up to the development branch. Mike can pull it down. And from there, Jane says, okay, this looks good. Let's go ahead and tag it for deployment. So this is a tag specific to the, de the development branch. And we can use some convention, some naming convention, such as tag to deploy or whatever. Uh, so once she creates that commit locally and then pushes it to the development branch, again, Bamboo is watching. So Bamboo sees that tag. It's looking for that tag or tags with that certain convention. And it knows that its job is to then push the commit up to the Drupal server. So then Mike decides that, okay, this commit looks good. It's time to merge it into the staging branch, which he does. And, you know, Jane doesn't have to take any action here necessarily. Um, so he creates a tag for deploying it to the staging environment. And I tried to sort of color code the outline of the tags there. Um, now he's going to push both of these at once. And Bamboo's going to see that and push the commit up to the staging server. And then Mike goes ahead and merges that commit into the production branch, pushes the commit up, and tags the, his local production branch. Now, nothing happens until that final step where he pushes, he or she pushes that tag up to the central repository, at which point Bamboo sees it and knows to push the commit up. So when considering this methodology, we are showing several commits there, but those are in fact all the exact same commit in this case. So I think it's good to take a quick step back and consider what Git actually sees behind the scenes just to understand what's going on exactly. So here we have our conceptual representation where we have our three branches, but really each branch, remember, is just a reference that sort of follows the latest commit in that branch line. Um, 
So this is what we think about conceptually, but this is what Git actually sees. It's simply a graph of commits, and in our case, we've tagged those commits to to signify to Bamboo that it should push that particular commit up to the specific server. In fact, all of these pushes, or at least the v1.0 pushes, could all happen by tagging the exact same commit with those three separate tags. So just just uh, some background there to think about what's actually going on. So let's take a look at just a few of the advantages to this approach. First of all, we have perfect tracking in history. So there's never going to be any question as to what was deployed on a server at a certain time. We know exactly which commit containing which files and which changes uh, have happened to each server at the specific time and who did it because there's in this workflow no other way to push up to those servers to deploy to those servers without going through git so we automatically get tracking and history we can if we want to limit who can actually deploy we can simply have bamboo check the author of the deployment tags and if it's not an approved author uh, we just will have bamboo not do anything so the sort of I don't know if you'd call it a security method but the authorization method to de make deployments is sort of uh, very easily built into this workflow using this we're already poised to take advantage of automated testing uh, really we should have certain tests set up unit tests selenium tests um, that verify that things are working the way they should so by doing this bamboo this is where its its power alley really is to do continuous integration um, and run those tests before it would deploy them to the servers and of course it's very important to note we can always do a quick rollback so if we make a mistake we know exactly what was deployed and we know what the previous deployment was based on looking at one of those tags so we could probably just create like a rollback tag or something that Bamboo again would look for and redeploy. One final note, the most interesting man in the world has this to say, I don't always deploy my changes to production, but when I do, I use Git, Bitbucket, and Bamboo. Thanks for listening.